Hurry up. <laughs> I'll bring you change. <laughs> Look, lads, a pig in breeches. <laughs> Search the place. Upstairs. <laughs> if he's here, I'll hang you with him, Mrs. Smith. If who's here, Captain Spiker? The villain I'm hunting. There ain't no villains here, Captain. I can see one. <laughs> Your tongues will choke you one day. <laughs> Buy a new song, Captain. The Hanging of Dick Turpin. Turpin's dead, Spiker. He was hanged at York, and a very large crowd watched him swing. Now get out, I'm busy. But Sir John! Lud Spiker, I didn't employ you to be a ghost hunter. Turpin's been a thorn in my flesh for long enough without you resurrecting him. The man who was hanged at York wasn't Turpin. Wasn't him? Then why did he say he was? Well, he'd been using the name for months. To frighten his victims and aid him in his villainy. Ridiculous. Then tell me. How could Turpin rob the Bristol coach in the morning and the Dover Mail the same afternoon? The man that robbed one of those coaches was an imposter. And he's the man that was hanged at York. To die as another man, Spiker. Ain't very likely, is it? Well, you've seen them on the gallows, Sir John. Many times. The crowd cheering, throwing flowers. But the man had no option but to be Turpin to the end. Lord Spiker, you do have the oddest notions. Two Turpins, why not a dozen? <laughs> you can't get him out of your guts, can you, Spiker? You've been hunting him for so long that now he's dead, you feel quite deprived. He's dead and in hell, probably robbing the devil. <laughs> now, sir, I want the Smith woman and her brat out of the Black Swan by tomorrow night. The rent's due, she ain't paid. It's legal enough. Don't suppose she can read anyhow. And if she pays? 20 guineas, not very likely, is it? If she pays, she can stay. I can always raise the rent again. <laughs> Good night, Spiker. And Spiker, no more ghost hunting. <laughs> Dad! Your money! I haven't got any money. You're a liar! No, no, don't shoot. Get out. Now give me your purse. Mm. Well, that ain't hay. But it's not mine, it's my master's. What'll I tell him? Tell him Dick Turpin took it. Turpin? But Turpin's dead. Do I look dead? But my master will never believe me, sir. He'll think I stole it. Yeah, well, that's your hard luck. No, wait. Wait. If I was to put up some sort of a struggle, he might believe me then. A struggle? Yes, yes. Defending his gold. If you was to shoot two holes in my in, in my hat, that, that might convince him, sir. Throw it down. Oh, yeah. I don't know who you are, Cully, but you're certainly not me. You. They're getting younger every day. Now I'm getting fed up with every footpad using my name from here to Newcastle because it's dishonest.
Go back to your mother. But Spiker's throwing us out unless Sir John Glutton gets 20 guineas. I've got to get it from somewhere. Maybe you have, but not from me, boy. Go on, get up. Here. Fair exchange is no robbery. Good. Your time's up. You can't mean to evict us. That's exactly what I mean. No rent, no roof. Oh, Captain. And that is the law. Oh, Captain, I beg of you. You'll have plenty of time for begging. Now take your movables and get out. Oh, give me another week. Not another second. Failure to pay shall result in the immediate eviction of the said Mary Smith and her son, Nicholas. Oh, show us a little mercy. <laughs> Throw them out. 20 guineas. Go on, take it. You stole this money. I came by it honestly. Borrowed it, did you? Yes. Well, well. How very surprising. She says she borrowed it. <laughs> Swallow your pride, Spiker. Must keep everything legal. After all, I am sheriff of the county. Tell her she can stay. For the moment. Rookham Hall! You can stay. Thank heaven. And 20 guineas. Some wine, Captain. Thank you. So you borrowed it then? The 20 guineas? Yes. Who from? A friend. An old friend? A very old friend. Come on. What are you doing? I must warn Mr. Turpin. No, Nick, no! Why don't you just put a rope round my neck? The Spiker's coming! To hell with Spiker! Ugh! I want my money back! been hanged already. Get down! Hold! Turpin! Come on! In! In! Come on!
Something tells me this doesn't belong to you. And your rings. <laughs> By heaven. By heaven. Do you think they'll let you in? Eh? <laughs> Come on. You're most cut. Come on, Bess. Go on, it. I'll have your hand! I'll have your gibbet it alive! Are you hurt, Sir John? Hurt! Hurt! Gad, sir! He's taken me great emerald! The villain's murdered me! And as for you, you unripe gallows apple, but you'll hang, I promise you. You'll hang. He's to be tried tomorrow. Can they really mean to hang him? They hanged a guy of ten for nicking bread. <gasps> Isn't there any justice? Oh, Mary. You know there isn't. Maybe if there was, I wouldn't be on the road. You mean your farm? That was a nice homecoming after fighting for England's freedom, wasn't it? Huh? Hmm? Freedom. Uh, Clutton took everything. The farm, Mary, everything. All neat and legal, of course, while my parents starved to death. A right royal welcome back, that was. Still. One day I'll be ready. Ready? Hmm. I'm going to ruin Clutton and everyone round him. I shall wear them down like water dripping on a stone. And I'll make my own justice. Then make some for Nick. For you and me. And what we once... You know. The past. Where's it being held? At Sir John Glatton's. Well, if I did, if I could get him out, you know what would happen. He wouldn't last a month. You know that, Mary. He would. If he rode with you. Rode with Mary, do you know what you're saying, woman? He's a good boy. He'd do what you told him. Do what I told him. Damn it, Mary, I'm a highwayman. I'm not a, a schoolmaster. Please. No, Mary, no. Out of the way, my man. I'm ill. <coughs> yeah, you better get a doctor. But you're a doctor. Aye, but you can afford my fees. <coughs> I'm too ill to move. Oh. Me, hurry, my car. Oh, what's it? It was just that. I suddenly feel much better. Mustn't catch cold. Uh, oh, aye, aye, aye. Very true. Very true. Now, uh, let's see what you've got in your case, shall we? Right. Pills. Bandages. Ah, laudanum. Well, I'll return shortly, but I have another patient to see at Rookham Hall, one that can afford my fee. <laughs> Where'd you get it, eh? From a dying man. Dying? Aye. Now deed. Deed? Mm, deed is a doornail. D dead? Turpins. Dead, you mean? Are you sure? As sure as I'm a doctor. Ah. He repented, you see, and he asked me to return this ring to you. His last request. Just the one ring? Aye. Devil take him. He must have sold me emerald. Oh, I didn't ken. He was nae very lucid. Who shot him? 
Bucket Man. He was near shot. Well, and how did he die? Very painfully. Of the plague. I've seen too many, Sir John. The burning fever. The dreadful agony. And then... And then... Gone. It was a terrible sight to see. Terrible. He cursed the boy as he died. Boy? What boy? Why, the boy he caught the plague from. We buried his mother this morning. But he's here! What? The boy! The boy's here! What? The boy is here! In this house! Yes! yes. Then we've no time to lose. Oh. We must get him out of here before we all catch the plague. Oh, he didn't look ill to me. Aye, well, that's when it's most dangerous. Give me a glass. Your glass. Glass. Uh, uh, mm. Now, where is he? He's in the cellar, under guard. But what about me? Drink this. <sighs> Come on, drink, drink. Now, show me the cellar. No, 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 I'll stay here. Briggs, 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 you go. No, no Briggs, don't be such a coward. Show the doctor the cellar. That's lightning. Let's make some. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. I think I... I'm getting it. weapon, Turpin. Then why are you using it? Tell them to drop their shooters, Spiker. Tell them. Otherwise, I'll carve my name on your Adam's apple. Drop your shooters! Back. Now, give Sir John a message when he's woken from his little nap, will you, Spiker? Tell him to leave Mrs. Smith alone in future. Otherwise, I'll burn Rookham Hall down to the ground. 
you got that sparkler? I'll tell him. It's very kind of you. Go, boy! I fixed his saddle. Now you'll do everything I say? Oh, yes, Mr Turpin. Oh, will you stop calling me Mr Turpin? Otherwise we'll have every thief-taker in England after us. You didn't want me to ride with you, did you? Whatever gave you that idea. Anyway, Master Nick Smith. No. Swift Nick. Swift Nick? Yeah, the king gave it to another famous highwoman. So now I'm giving it to you, because you'll need all luck going. Because I'm stuck with you whether I like it or not. Just do as you're told, we might live a few more months. Well, where are we going? Away from here, Swiftnik. Away from here. Let's ride! <laughs> <laughs>